from Studio A of PCI Media Center right here in Vancouver, BC. Welcome back to the new PCI Daily Live News Roundup brought to you by Philippine Canadian Inquirer, the only Filipino Canadian newspaper distributed across Canada. I'm Manny Noel Abuel. Thank you for joining us. We have the latest news development in the news. Trillanes and Zubiri engage in a ward war. Senators Antonio Trillanes IV and Juan Miguel Zubiri got into a heated exchange during a Senate hearing on the alleged Bureau of Immigration bribery scandal. The word war between the two senators started when Zubiri took offense to Trillanes' claims of the former whitewashing the immigration scandal. Zubiri said, quote, Never in my nine years as House member and four years as a member of this August chamber have I been accused of stalling or stopping investigation. Trillanes' allegations against Zubiri came about when Senators Richard Gordon and Zubiri declined to Trillanes' resolution to put the inquiry on the alleged immigration bribery case under the Senate Committee on Rules. Gordon blocked Trillanes' resolution while Zubiri suggested that the inquiry be put under the Committee on Justice and Human Rights chaired by Gordon. When Trillanes took the floor on Wednesday, he said he was Quote, glad that the gentleman took offense because, in fact, the statement was meant to be offensive. This sparked outrage in Sabiri, who rushed towards Trillianus's podium. The two senators exchanged accusations that prompted other senators to rise from their seats and intervene. Senator Vicente Tito Soto III put the session in recess. Upon the resumption of the session, Zubiri and Trillanes settled their spat by shaking hands. Health Secretary fires back at condom critics. Department of Health Secretary Pauline Jean Rosel Ubial lashed out at critics on Monday who opposed the agency's program of distributing condoms in schools nationwide. Ubial said on her Twitter account, quote, Our call on oppositors, do not impose your beliefs on others. The Department of Health's condom distribution program has drawn flack from the Catholic Church, government officials, and some citizens since its announcement in December last year. However, the criticisms around it have grown as the implementation of the program nears. The Catholic Church, as well as some government officials, are concerned that distributing condoms in schools would encourage sexual promiscuity among the youth an argument to be all countered. Quote, studies had shown condoms did not promote promiscuity. In fact, it made those sexually active teens more cautious and knowledgeable of unwanted and unplanned pregnancies and STIs, including HIV, Thus, they became more careful. Obial assured the public that the distribution of condoms in school will be performed, quote, with very close supervision and counseling. Free college tuition won't reach the poor. Chad Chair Patricia Lequanan said in a television interview aired on Monday that the 8.3 billion peso increase in the Commission on Higher Education's budget slated for tuition subsidy in state universities and colleges won't benefit the poor. Although CHED welcomes the budget increase, Likwanan is concerned that the target beneficiaries of tuition subsidy won't benefit from it. Likwanan said, quote, The poorest of the poor are not yet in college. They have been knocked out long ago and enrollment of the poorest quintile in higher education is only 8%, so it's not going to benefit the poor. Likwanan also said that the budget increase won't be enough to cover tuition subsidy for all incoming college freshmen in 2018 because the additional budget was concluded using estimates on SUC's 2017 income, the year when college freshmen enrollees were very few due to the implementation of K-12 program. According to Likwanan, CHED needs 16 billion pesos to successfully subsidize the tuition of all tertiary students in 114 SUCs nationwide. And that's the News Roundup for today. PCI Daily Live News Roundup is brought to you by CanadianInquirer.net where you can browse for the latest news development with complete stories anytime. 
Together with our Philippine news team in Manila, Kat Padilla, our news editor, Gino Alcantara, our graphics designer, and video editor, I'm Manny Noel Abuel. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope to see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.